Good morning, August 10th, standing room only. Now, Lord, look on their threats and grant to your servants that with all boldness they may speak your word. Acts chapter 4, verse 29. Have you noticed schoolyard bullies have morphed into cyberspace bullies? Teenage peer pressure has followed us into adulthood via the media. But it is our Christian faith and morality that places us in the line of fire for stigmas of intolerance and prejudice. Do we shore up or retreat? As our Lord's return draws near, bold believers are needed to stand up, speak up, and not shut up for the defense of the gospel. There is no better example for our critical mission than the Apostle Paul, an outstanding freedom fighter. Paul fearlessly took on the Judaizers a movement of people seeking to discredit his reputation for the sake of subverting the true message of the gospel. Galatians chapter 2, verses 4 through 8. We are free in Christ to say what we want to say, do what we want to do, and go where we want to go. Why should we take a stand? Because we know and love our Savior. We want to say what He would say, do what He would do, and go where He would go. Now is the time to stand up and be counted as followers of Christ. Strategize a way to take a stand for the gospel and do it fearlessly. Stand up. Stand up for Jesus. George Duffield Good evening, the compassionate Jesus. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. Matthew chapter 9 verse 36. Compassion is a distinctive characteristic of Jesus' personality. It flowed from the center of his heart and filled his teachings. People enjoyed listening to him and walked many miles to hear him. The brief record that we have of what he did and taught in three years reveals the depth of his wisdom and the uniqueness of his revelation of God the Father. The love that permeated his teachings not only touched people's minds, but their hearts as well. They felt his love for them and responded by opening their hearts in love to him. Because the eternal Christ still lives today, his compassion and sympathy are just as much a reality today as when he walked on earth. We rejoice in the truths he preached, and our hearts are warmed by the reality of his love for us. If life has disappointed you or if you have failed and are filled with despair, with no idea where to turn for inspiration and strength, remember the compassion of Jesus. In the power of his love, he encourages you to persevere and to rebuild your life.